YouTube. <laughs> Welcome to my channel. I want to try to make a movie about a school and how I make my schedule. So in a little bit, I will upload a video of how I sign in on two different devices because I do a lot of science experiments um, and I want to be able to show them what I'm doing. So uh, for example, I just finished a class on my um, making, mixing colors and making a fizzling rainbow. It's my most popular class. And so in it, we have down here my tray of colors we've mixed. And over here is the rainbow that we made. Okay. And up here is my cell phone, which is what I use to project it on to Zoom. So when I'm in Zoom, I actually have two devices. Let me show you what that looks real quick. So on my Zoom, I have opened up participants. Okay, because that's where you can see the list of everybody. I go down to the bottom um, on the side, so your bottom right, and I click invite. There are many ways you can do this, but I'm going to do it this way. And I'm going to click on an email. So I can either do default email, Gmail, or Yahoo Mail. Or I can just copy invite link or copy invitation. So if you want to just copy the invite link, you can Facebook message it to yourself. Uh, you can click on the email. You can email it to yourself. Um, I like doing it through the invite button because then my phone is automatically um, silent when I come in and I choose to join audio or not on my phone. I do not want to join audio, okay? Because then I'm joining the audio through my headphones and my phone. And you're gonna hear this bad echo back and forth as it bounces around. So I only want them to hear me from one place, my headset. And I only want to hear them, hear them through one place, my headphones. So make sure your phone is turned completely to silent. Okay, so turn down to silent. And you do not want to join audio. So let me show you how I connected it. Um, just as a, a review recap. Okay, so click invite. And we're going to send it to ourselves. Um, whether you're going to copy the link or... Um, you're going to Facebook it to yourself, whatever you want to do. Just when you copy it into your email, it's going to be a googly goosh of, of um, like a website. Make sure you press enter after the web address because that turns into a hyperlink. You want it to be blue and underlined. Okay, then you can send it to yourself. And I'm not showing you this because it's got my private email on here. So you're going to send it to yourself. I just sent it. And it's going to come up to my phone. So it's here. Click to join Zoom meeting. So I clicked it. Now I'm going to join the meeting in progress. You could do this from the classroom um, just as a word of caution, okay, in case people ask me this. You can invite any device you want to invite. I use it to invite myself. I never, ever send that invite to somebody that's not registered for the class. Okay, if they're registered for the class, they have to go to their OutSchool account and click start live meeting to get in. That way their name is off to the side. I know they've paid for the class. Don't invite anybody else in there. But you can invite a second device for yourself. That's, that's fine. Okay, just don't cheat the system. Okay, make sure people pay and then come into the right way. If the parent says, we can't get in, we need a password. No, if they go to classrooms and click live meeting, Boom, they're in, okay? So I said it to myself, I'm going to click on inside here, click this, think, and it's gonna go into Zoom. I have mine called close-up cam. You can do color cam, rainbow cam, art cam, close-up cam, whatever you wanna name it. I suggest you do not name it your name because my name is already down here. And if I have two windows with the same name, it could be confusing to the students. So I have my name here and a different name over here. You press OK. Now every phone is a little bit different here, but this is what mine's doing. Aha, I am in the waiting room. I have to let you in. So see if I can show you what I'm doing over here. OK, so here is my out school. I think should be. Shouldn't I? I don't know. I don't know what that was. So I'm gonna go to share screen. 
Um, I don't know if I can share my OutSchool um, layout, so just kind of bear with me, okay? But up, so you have participants open. You can see who's in the waiting room and who's in the meeting. Right now, mine says close-up cam is in the waiting room and Rebecca is in the meeting. I want to go next to close-up cam and press admit. Ding! And then I'm going to be connected in. Now, when you go in, it's going to show me. Whoo! It shows me because it's on selfie mode. Hi, everyone. So I'm going to start the video down here. You can see that it's, it's on me. Aren't I beautiful? It's so flattering from this position. No, <laughs> it's not. <laughs> okay, so down here, this is what the computer's seeing. This is what the phone is seeing down here. So this is what the phone's seeing. I don't want it on selfie mode. So I'm gonna go over here and press that little, the camera with the, the roundabout um, arrow. See those arrows going round and round? I'm gonna click that. That's gonna bring it to the outside camera. Okay, because most cameras have a better camera on the outside than on selfie mode. Yeah, you can see all my stuff. Sorry, my classroom, right. Hi, Dino. <laughs> okay, so then you're like this, okay? You're gonna turn your phone. So make sure you can turn your phone so then it goes like this. I know my lights back here. Yes, I'm ready for this. And then you can put it into your clamp thing that I showed you earlier. You can clamp it in and then looking down on your tray. It could be your math tray. It could be your paper that you're writing on. It could be a science experiment. You could be knitting. Um, mine is next to me because I don't have room in front of me. I know some people who are able to get up and over and straight down, so they're working right down in front of you. That's great too. You can position it wherever you want to position it, which is really cool. And it just clamps on. So um, I'm going to turn off this camera so it's not confusing to you. Stop video. Okay. And I'm going to show you this um, cool gooseneck thing. Okay, here's the things here. Here's my phone in here. So these gooseneck cell phone holders, and then down here. Okay, if you untwist this and you open up the clamp to fit your table or book or counter or whatever you want in here, and then you tighten it down. So it stays clamped on, it's pretty cool. And then you can move it wherever you wanna move it to. So sometimes mine goes straight down, but sometimes mine, ah, don't do that, you'll drop your phone. Okay, well, thankfully not too much of a mess. <laughs> yeah, it's real life. It's, it's, I'm not going to edit that out. So it is what it is. So that's how you get your thing in there. Now, what were we working on? Oh, yes, we were working on scheduling classes. Okay. Um, I'm going to stop here because that is my close-up camera. I'll show it two different ways. And I will see you next time.